Evan? Hey. Hey, what's up, man. What's up? Good it's good you. seeing you. Have a seat. Uh, some some coffee, desserts. Um, no, I'm good. You good? Oh yeah. Here's here's the paperwork for you. I already paid a deposit for the first month. Just need your signature. Are you uh, going back on vacation or something? No, I just got here from Korea, actually. So you were on vacation? No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's my first day here. Oh, nice. I'm from up north. North? So is that is that Washington? Oregon? No, uh, the valley. Northridge. The valley. Yeah. 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 You don't know what that is. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right, should we get out of here? Damn. All right. Okay. All right. Dude, this place is legit. Fully furnished. Yes. Whoa, bro. What? Why do you have your shoes on? What? What should I have on? Well, your, your feet or your socks. <laughs> Did then my feet or socks will get dirty. Well, that's why you don't wear it in the first place. So the floor won't get dirty. I see. This is one of those which came first, the chicken or the egg scenarios. No, it doesn't matter what came first. They both had their shoes off. Dude. <laughs> These are clean, all right? Let me just refresh your memory. Upon leaving the coffee shop, you stepped on a puddle. I noticed there was a dog nearby. A really good chance that the liquid was from the dog. When we were crossing the street, you stepped on a dead squirrel and a half-eaten BLT and questionable slime as we were walking by the bar. Now, imagine bringing all that into this house. We can't have... I know you went to a public restroom with that shoe, man. That is disgusting. I've lived my entire life wearing shoes indoors. Nothing bad's ever happened to me. No squirrel virus. I feel naked without them. It'd be like not wearing underwear. Plus, I made really good use of the floor mat outside. We're gonna be fine, man. Come on. I'm talking about shoes here. Really? In Korea, we clean the floors every single day and wash our feet before bed. It's a thing. So the whole country has OCD. You ready? Oh, crap. My phone. Car's here, man. <sighs> what are you doing, dude? I don't want to lay some up again, man. <laughs> I don't know if that's madness or dedication. It's acceptance. Let's go. What is this? Oh, I'm making Korean food. I hope you like tofu. No, this, man. What, what is all this? Oh, this. Well, I went to Ikea today and got inspired. E what? Ikea, you know, the furniture store. Ikea. No, it's Ikea. Whatever, dude, what, what did you, you divided the land? You'd rather do that than have one unified policy here? The red lines are my shoe-free zone, the blue lines are your shoes on territory. The entrance is the common area, DMZ. It's like a giant game of Twister. I made sure everything's measured correctly, so we have fair space. Did you say tofu? Yep. My friend, due diligence. Okay. I can't even reach the fridge, man. What? You're building a wall? Just to be sure. You know, to be fair, this is a country of laws. It's nothing personal, man. I give up. Dude, this has gone too far. You want me to take my shoes off? Here. I give up. I surrender. You win. We're roommates. We're not supposed to be living like enemies. You're right. I did take this a little too far. But, hey, at the end of the day, I'm glad we could come to agreement like we're roommates. Tear down that wall. 